Hello Lola's, welcome back to my channel guys. As you know and always know that every YouTuber wants you to subscribe to their channel and I'm no different. Please subscribe to my channel, please share my channel, click the bell to be a part of the notification squad, give this video a thumbs up, don't forget to follow me on all my other platforms. I am on Facebook um, as Serenity Smith. I'm on Instagram as Miss Serenity Smith Babies. I do have a blog that I occasionally <laughs> upload, which follow this blog because I'm going to change it soon. Um, it's going to, it is Miss Serenity Smith Babies.com. I am eventually going to get my website up and running and eventually I'm going to use it for selling my babies on. Um, I won't say exclusively on there, but yeah. But anyway, today is, that's not what we came to talk about today. Today I am here to introduce to you guys my version of Prototype Greta sculpted by Francesca Figa and being poured, molded, and sold by Silicone Studios or Sil Silicone Studio without an S. I am still in progress of this baby so this is just going to be like a uh, informal unofficial peek at um, him. I am leaning towards doing boy so you will see more pictures of him as a boy but I do think that once this baby get hair and the eyebrows completed and all that stuff this baby would also make a cute chubby girl. But I think I am almost certain this is going to be a boy for me. Um, so let's get to it. I'm not going to go over to all the f full details in this video. Just simply because, remember, it's a work in progress. So just general. I still have, you know, some of the details to do um, as far as like the fingernails and so and so and so and so. So... I just couldn't resist putting the baby together so that I could be able to show you guys a little bit of peek of what this baby would look like. Therefore, so when the blanks come out, um, you will get a better idea of the potential of the baby um, in both versions. Because Kathy Romero Biscotti, Biscotti, Biscotti um, painted a Caucasian version so this is my AA version African American black baby whichever way you want to spin it <laughs> a dark skin baby um, that is what I wanted to do it was my intent um, as you guys know I rarely paint partial silicones and I rarely go to the skin tone so, uh, actually, this is probably my first time doing this actual skin tone. So, I'm really proud of him. Um, as always, I tell everybody my art is never perfect. But let's not talk about me and focus on me. Let's focus on the sculpt. So, this baby, as you can see, is a good length. Um, I believe this sculpt is to be like more like a 22-inch baby. My baby is on a probably a 23 inch body cloth body that I had here that I wanted to put him on and I love the flow of the baby with this on so I of course um, would say my baby is more like 23 inches. I have not measured where is my measure? I always do this my measuring tape is in the other room. I will measure him I will put him on a scale I'm probably guessing like he's eight and a half pounds. Um, without the weight and the cloth and all that stuff, just the silicone pieces itself, I think, um, Kathy was saying he was at least six or seven pounds, maybe just that by itself. So once I added some weight to the tummy and all that, so yeah, so he has full limbs, full arms, and it's up to you. The arms you could probably put on a three fourth body or body with caps or whatever. I liked it on a full body. Um, just because the arms it pretty much are like the position of the Benjamin sculpt. So it's, they're bent up. And so I think they're fine as f on the full limb. The, I think the artist intended them to be full arms, full legs. I mean the sculptor. All right. So let's get into this little chubby chub face. Give y'all a little bit more light. All right. So 
he has um my baby has brown eyes um the um mouth on the kit is open slightly open but not super super deep so you would probably have to modify it however my version is deepened so um he will take a full pacifier um they have i think the cutest little nose the cutest little face this sculpt is really cute i think um for a little chub baby yeah um i am so like y'all know me i'm so torn on Oh, I should keep this baby. I should keep this baby. But um, the goal is to finish rooting him, which I am about to start that in probably in one day. I will be on a rooting marathon, like root, 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 root. So you probably won't hear from me or I'll respond slower in short words, um, one or two words to you. And that's probably going to be it because I'll be rooting. Um, but I do plan on rooting him. Um, he will have rooted eyebrows. Um, I root eyebrows because I don't do that great with painted eyebrows. I'm not afraid to say that. Um, and he will have rooted hair. And I will, um, he'll have a cute little box opening and stuff. He has fists. Both his hands are fisted. Um, so... Like I said, I will go into great detail later, but for now, I just wanted to give you guys a peek um, of what he looks like. And I think sometimes I do pictures, but I think video helps. I don't edit my pictures. I don't edit my videos um, as far as coloring and stuff like that go. I might edit it to clip something out or add photos in or something like that. So, um, but yeah. So, trying to get, I was trying to get closer into his legs or whatever, but uh, the light's not being my best friend right now. But yeah, he, so he, I'm, I'm really proud. Like I said, I'm proud of how he came out. So real quick, I'm not going to keep this, make this video super long. Like I said, I just wanted to pop in to show him. I'm going to leave the link in the description bar to both SiliconeStudio.com and Sil Silicone Studio 2 dot com in the description bar so that you guys can easily get to the blanks i don't have the pricing information for you guys right now i as always i'm confident that he will be reasonably priced especially for this size sculpt um and the sculpt like i said is very well well sculpted very detailed so um i will i will leave that those links there and I'll come back and do another video and let you guys know when they're available, et cetera, et cetera, just as a reminder. But um, as far as my baby, I really just want to focus on getting him finished up. And then I'm going to really settle on the price for this baby. And um, I will have him put him up. Um, I'm not doing any like um, first right of refusals. Um, there has been... You know, certain people that have shown interest in this baby from the day one. And, you know, I definitely will let them know and make sure that they are aware that once it becomes available, I have a price to give them the opportunity to be like, you know, at least you didn't miss it, you know, type thing. I am not one to be able to individually message every single person. It just... Anytime I try to do that, you know, it's not that I don't do it on purpose. I just, I can't remember everything from one day to the next and who I talk to and I get people confused or you write people and then it's kind of like, it makes it awkward, make it feel like, you know, now you feel like you're kind of obligated to go with it. So I'd rather just post the baby, share it. If you like it when it's final and finished and you're just like, okay, I know this I want this baby you can contact me um, if you have any questions feel free to message me like I said I will be rooting over the next few days so I might be slow to respond but I do try to respond to everybody because I am a collector first and I understand that we have questions we also be kind of gearing ourselves up to like okay is this a baby I want to hold out and see how it turns out it, you know that type thing so yeah um, so that's that's all I have for you guys um, 
and let me see what else can I tell you so open mouth full lens he's a cuddly chub chub a bug um clothes I am putting him on three to six months um uh, mostly that's what I've put him on now you know clothes the, the the clothes vary you know sometimes zero to three month fits like a three to six month and um, sometimes if it's you know like a onesie or something like that and it's cut really big you might even get to be able to put a newborn you know that on a newborn but he is less likely to fit most newborn stuff he's definitely gonna fit like at least zero to three or three month three to, or three to six month size clothing i would on the safe side buy him all three to six month clothes um or zero to three month if it looked like it's cut big foot size i i'm going to try his feet out again um or try him out he i would say a one because of the length but the feet are kind of chubby so it might be a two it just depends on the shoe brand and all that so i try not to give those type of details i think that's something that the mommy has to kind of figure out once they get the baby because depending on where you're at um depending on you know what brand it's so many things that will determine what size clothes and shoes the baby wear all I could do is give you guys an idea and let you know what I put the baby on and then we have to go from there. I mean, you have to go from there when you get the baby. I usually say recommend that you shop for your baby um, more so when you get the baby at home. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel and my work and my journey to grow, um, you know to do better and thank you for you know thank you to the sculptors and uh, the the sculptors that have allowed me opportunities to do prototypes I am not the big fancy you know artist and I don't do you know uh, studio perfect photography I just kind of snap and go <laughs> so I am always appreciative to have the opportunity to do my thing on the sculpts so, um, and I'm definitely looking forward to doing, um, more, uh, silicone prototypes in the future. So stay tuned guys. Keep following. Um, I'm getting ready to close out my year of the babies, finishing up my final babies for 2022. So again, thank you. This is Greta. Greta is sculpted by Francesca Fega, poured and sold by Silicone Studio. I am going to put that information in the description bar so that you guys have the correct spelling and all that great jazz. In case I pronounce something wrong, you guys know where to look. Um, I think that's it. Thanks guys. Bye.